All right, y'all, it's your boy Ice Starkey back with Ice Starkey Boxing. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe, which will help me create more and give, be able to give you guys more of what you need um, and give you more of what fighters are coming up in the game and fighters to look out for. So this is a fighter that I wanted to um, look into. I wanted you guys to get to know. I think you'll be seeing a lot more of him, especially as his... Um, his uh, notoriety increases. Um, I think he'll be headlining a lot of cards and he'll fill in a lot of spaces for the smaller uh, divisions and he'll be able to move up. Um, the name is Cyrus Pattinson. Cyrus Pattinson is a, a fighter out of the UK. Um, right now he's fighting at 154, but um, he says he has plans to drop it down to 147. He's dropping down to welterweight. Uh, so he's fighting at uh, super welterweight right now, but he's coming down to welterweight. He had an established amateur career um, had a lot of fights in the amateur. He actually fought in the um, uh, World Series of Boxing tournaments when they were going on. Um, he has four fights there. I, I do have to say that he lost all four and was knocked out in two. But um, other than that, he had a really good um, amateur career where he won uh, uh, some some titles in the United uh, World in the uh, United Kingdom, and uh, he. Um, was able to do some international traveling and win fights as well. He's got a big fan base. Um, I saw that the, uh, when we watched the fight on DAZN, they actually filled out the gym for him. And I'll put the link to the fight in the description. Um, it was a pretty good fight. I think he's a, a, a body puncher and a, a volume puncher. He's a pressure fighter naturally. His natural instincts is the pressure. Um, looks like he may be counter punching. As he comes down in weight, um, he'll probably pack on a little bit more power. He did stop the guy with body shots, um, so he he might be able to uh, stop guys with body shots uh, going forward. But um, definitely looks like a fighter to keep your eye on, uh, especially in the UK, because you may see him uh, snatch up a European title and um, then end up uh, campaigning for a world title. Now, this is in the future. Just say now. You know what I mean? Like, this is not now. Uh, he'll be... It'll be maybe two to three years it'll be like three and a half to four years maybe um if he continues to win and win i mean obviously he's new right now so um he's still coming up he is 27 though uh so he is 27 he's right in his uh prime right now so um they can put their foot on the gas and start um you know getting him bigger and better competition so he can move up very quickly but doesn't look like he doesn't look like Okay, like some guys turn pro and there's a lot of things that they need to work on. I don't, it doesn't seem like he has a lot of things he needs to work on. Uh, from what I saw, it looks like he just, you know, sitting down on a punch a little bit more, um, putting the pressure on the guy and getting him out of there. Um, you know, that type of stuff that you learn in the pros. But as far as like maybe some guys like Solomon Decree, there's certain things that he's doing that they're going to have to work on. But with him, when you have that much amateur experience and you fight in that high a level, um, there's certain things that these guys can't expose from you. Now, as he gets up in the rankings, he may end up uh, fighting guys that are going to expose certain things. But right now he's good, you know, good to go uh, until, he, you know, he may, he'll get that good sparring and he'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure he's fighting over there with um, the guys over there and, um, you know, the top guys over there and getting that work. But um you know, Ramon Patterson seems pretty good. Um, go ahead and check him out. I'll have this fight in the description area for you guys to go look at. He's on the up and up, so um, we'll see how he uh, he pans out in the, in his career. Um, I did see that, he, um, and I, I do got to speak on that. I did see that those two losses that he had in the World Series of Boxing, he did actually get KO'd in... Um, in one of them, uh, I believe he got KO'd in the fight. Um, uh, it's not coming to me. He got KO'd in, um, no, they were TKOs. I'm sorry. Uh, they were TKOs. So I don't know how they went. I didn't see them. So um, maybe I'll put those in the description so you can judge on that. You always want to um, watch that because, you know, you never know. Um, because if guys get knocked out very viciously in the amateurs, um, it happens. You know, it doesn't happen all the time. But when you get knocked out that bad, you know what I mean? Like, there is a question. I don't know, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, the guy's got a chin problem and anything like that. But those questions haven't been asked. And, you know, how's he going to adapt to it? Is his defense bad? Things like that. Has he worked on his defense? That type of stuff. So um, it's definitely something to look into. I'll post those fights in the description for you guys to look at yourselves and take a look at it. But um, where it's gone right now, it looks like he's got a pretty good career. Let me know what y'all think about it in the, um, in the comment section. We'll definitely go from there. But uh, check him out and uh, let me know what you think. Peace.